Well, good evening, everyone. Glad to have you with us. It is time for evening prayer at St. Peter's. We're honored to have you as we close out the week. Um, this is one of those odd nights where all of the lessons kind of point to Jesus as the savior of the world. So I thought it would be appropriate to have Da Vinci's, the, the painting attributed to Da Vinci, Salvatore Mundi, which is uh, one of the great pieces of art that has been, uh, if you will, uncovered in the millennium. So it's an honor to have you with us. Glad to have you here. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and know that we are happy to have you with us as we close out our worship week here at St. Peter's, and as we prepare to enter into uh, the renewal point of what it means to be walking together in Christ as a community. We are getting ready to mark as well the uh, Feast of the Baptism of our Lord on Sunday, uh, and uh, I hope you all, if you get a chance uh, to mark Twelfth Night, which is tomorrow night, uh, with an opportunity with a celebration. If you're just going to sing the Twelve Days of Christmas, that's great. But uh, this is the second to last day of Christmas, so we give thanks for that. All right, folks, we are ready for evening prayer, and uh, please do give us your prayer concerns and any intercessions you may have in the comment section, either on Facebook Live while we're in this, and we'll make sure we offer them up at the end of the office or in the comments section after the fact on YouTube and Facebook, and we monitor those and we'll offer them up on Monday morning when we resume the daily office. Again, glad to have you here. It is time to pray. Here we go. Yours is the day, O God. Yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me for our invitatory in the third song of Isaiah together. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom and shrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me for Psalms 29 and 98. I'll offer the odd verses. Please respond with the even. Ascribe to the Lord, you heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord. Ascribe to the Lord the name. glory of his name. Worship the Lord, Worship in, the Lord in holy splendor. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over mighty waters. The voice of the, the, Lord, voice is of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the, the, voice Lord, of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The voice the Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon, he skip, makes Lebanon like skip like a calf, and the Syrian and like, a young, like a young wild ox. The oh, voice well of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord causes the, the oaks to whirl and strips the forests bare. 
and in the temple of the Lord all are crying glory. The Lord sits, the Lord enthroned, sits over enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits the enthroned king as forever. king forever. May the Lord give strength to God's people. May the Lord bless God's people with peace. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for the Lord has done marvelous things. His right, his right hand and his holy gotten arm victory. have gotten him victory. The Lord has made known victory. The Lord has revealed vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his, he steadfast, has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends, All the of, the ends of the earth the have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and praises. Sing praises, Sing to, praises the to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre, with the lyre and, and the sound of medley. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar, and, the sea all roar that and all that fills it. The world, the world and, those who, and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord, for God is coming to judge the earth. He will judge, he the, will world judge the world with righteousness and the peoples, and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Rome. Welcome one another, therefore, just as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the circumcised on behalf of the truth of God in order that he might confirm the promises given to the patriarchs and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Therefore I will confess you among the Gentiles, and sing praises to your name. And again he says, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples praise him. And again Isaiah says, The root of Jesse shall come, the one who rises to rule the Gentiles, in him the Gentiles shall hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening, Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from John. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me, you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My father's glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. 
I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call your servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I've called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Song of Simeon, together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat, we entreat you, O Lord, Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, we Lord. Entreat you O Lord that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, we o, entreat Lord. you o Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat, we you, entreat o you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, we o, entreat Lord. you o Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary Blessed Peter, our patron, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat, we you, entreat you, O Lord. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light enkindled in our hearts may shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts, and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your intercessions and thanksgivings. Prayers of gratitude for friends and family that we don't always get by birth or biology, but that we get through knowing and loving each other. Amen. Prayers of thanksgiving for my father who turned 80 today and is wearing his age well. We give thanks for Jesse being with us in the virtual chapel today. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love. 
and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of praise God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. be with us all. Amen. 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 Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for evening prayer tonight. Jesse, thank you for having uh, having some time with us. We appreciate your presence. And uh, as well, uh, little Maeve, I see, is taking good care of you. Well, We've Father, been I've enjoyed it. I belong to St. Mary's on Sanford Street. Father but, Bob? I don't know him, but it, I'm glad you're with us tonight. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Know that we are so happy to welcome you all home to St. Peter's, even as we were able to welcome Jesse home to us. So be well, take care, have a great evening. We will see you on Monday for our offices of worship on Sunday morning for 8 a.m., which is the baptism of our Lord, 10 a.m., which is the Epiphany pageant and Eucharist. And then, of course, we'll see you again at Monday at 9 a.m. for morning prayer. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>